Hey guys, uh, welcome to your bonus twin flame reading for Gemini. This is going to be for your uh, rest of May 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see how your twin flame journey is going with your twin flame. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique, unique situations. Uh, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Gemini people, not tapping into uh, one specific uh, uh, one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Okay. Gemini. Tell me about Gemini and their twin flame journey. How is Gemini's twin flame journey going for the rest of May 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Gemini. We have the Seven of Cups with a King, uh, uh, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Empress here, Libra, Taurus. The Magician here, Gemini, Virgo. Three of Wands. In the Judgment card. <coughs> I feel like you and your twin flame right now are not on the same page here. I feel like both of you guys are looking for th different things, you know? I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you guys are not in the same page. Like, you guys are not in the same level when it comes to, you know, your life, your life experiences. You know, someone here could have... You know, someone here could be more far along in their spiritual journey, in their spiritual path here. Someone here could be more far along in their career and, you know, and in their finances here. Because they feel like there's a bit of a mismatch, you know. So, uh, let's see. Tell me the judgment card. Why is the judgment card here? Five of Wands. Yeah, I feel like issues are starting to come up here. You know, it could be a situation that, you know, you guys could be arguing and fight, uh, fighting about finances. You know, one person could have more money than the other person. And then one person could be paying, you know, a lot of things, you know, uh, so that, you know, the other person, uh, because the other person might not be able to pay. Okay, the uh, Three of Wands here. Two of Swords. The Magician. In the world, yeah, there is a there there is a connection that's ending here, because I feel like, like I said, there is a bit of an energetic mismatch here. Okay, does that make sense? The Empress here. I feel I just feel like someone here feels like they can't manifest with somebody here because of the mismatch in energies. Okay, the um, Empress. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like someone here is starting to feel like they're taking out other people's car, like someone else's karmic debts here. Because I do feel like someone here doesn't really have what you have right now, Gemini. And I feel like someone here is relying heavily on you for emotional support and also uh, 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 financial support here, okay? Now, you know, I, I, I do feel like someone here has to kind of like try and turn their life around because I feel, I feel like someone here is starting to feel drained, starting to feel tired here. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, Libra Aquarius Gemini, the Seven of Cups here, and the Justice card. Yeah. I feel like someone here is starting to take on someone's karma or that you're dealing with the karmic here and you're stepping away from this karmic here. I guess karmic twin flame. All right. What else do we have here for 
Gemini, what else does Gemini need to know, look out for, work on for the rest of May 2024 when it comes to your twin flame journey? Ten of Cups. Ace of Swords. Four of Wands. Seems like you guys will separate for a bit, but the Nate, I feel like you guys are going to come back together here. King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Star card here. Aquarius Energy and the Seven of Wands here. I feel like even though you might be feeling this way, Gemini, this person will never leave you. Yeah, this person just will never leave you. This person knows the value and the worth of this relationship and this connection here. You know, I mean, I feel like this person just doesn't really care about the material things, but I could understand that how if someone here is not financially doing well and that you're paying for somebody all the time, you know, I could understand how it could affect you. You know what I mean? But this person doesn't care about that. I do feel like this person could be struggling finding their life's purpose here too. And that's why, you know, maybe this person's struggling, you know, financially, you know, struggling with their life right now. Okay. Five of Cups, not the Five of Cups, the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups and the Fool, Aries, Energy, Ace of Swords, and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Little Sagittarius, Energy. Yeah, this person will never leave you. Yeah, this person will never leave you. They feel like they could come out of this situation here. They just need or that they want you to support them, but also be patient with them too and not try and rush them or pressure them, you know? And I feel like this person is trying, you know, trying to, you know, manifest here, you know, set intentions and make things happen here. I do feel like eventually it will, but also like Gemini, you have to be patient in the situation here. I do feel like it, like I said, it has to do with mis mismatch and energies. Yeah. King of Swords. You guys are on a little, yeah, I feel like the frequencies that you guys are on are a little different here because I feel like, like I said, one person is a little further ahead in life and then someone here is trailing behind. Yeah, someone here is trailing behind. Yeah, I feel like with the two of pentacles, this person is going to, like, is this, in this energy, they're going to do what it takes, you know, to sort of like make you proud, you know, make changes here. Yeah, this person is just never going to leave you even though that there is a mismatch here. They feel like you guys can't work through it, okay? So, uh, <coughs> yeah, we have the Ten of Wands here. You know, for somebody here, this is starting to become a burden. Yeah, some of the Wands here and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, some here is like worried. I, I do feel like, you know, someone here could be receiving a huge wake-up call in terms of their life here, you know, their career, you know, their money situation, okay? So, uh, yeah, so, uh, Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.